In this video, we will be studying chapter 1 of the book H.L. Ahuja, The Economic Problem, Scarcity and Choice. This PPT is presented by me, Pulkit Sharma. This is the introduction of chapter 1. Why do we study economics? Or why it is important for us to study economics? Economics is used for initiating and accelerating growth in the economies of the world and thus for eradicating poverty and unemployment from the human race. For example, in the present scenario, due to the pandemic COVID-19, the world is facing lockdowns and these lockdowns are negatively impacting the economies. The economic activities like production, transportation sector and the tourism all are stopped. So there is a high probability that the world might face global recessions. So in order to recover or revive our economies, the economist, the government is most likely to follow expansionary fiscal policy and the RBI that is the central bank of our country is most likely to follow the, the expansionary monetary policy. So. The knowledge of these policies is extremely important. That is why study of economics is important for us. What economics is about or what we study in economics or what is the subject matter of economics? There is no other science or a body of knowledge in regard to which there has been such a great controversy about its subject matter or its proper definition as about economics. What do you think? why economics the subject matter of economics or the definition of economics is such a great controversy it's a great controversy because economics was growing and developing so its correct and satisfactory definition can be given only after it has sufficiently developed and grown now that the science of economics has sufficiently developed we can provide an adequate and satisfactory definition of economics so the definition of economics by different economists will be discussed in the next lecture and we will be knowing what the subject matter of economics at the end of this chapter. So stay tuned.